this video, we're going to take a look at global search in Salesforce. Um, so there's a few different things that I want to highlight with this, just keep it super high level on uh, some best, best practices around global search. Um, so generally, when you log into the system, it's going to be front and center here. Uh, and all what global search is going to search is all items in the system that are searchable, meaning there are some standard items as well as you can create some custom items that are actually not searchable di by default. So if you find yourself searching for something and it's not popping up, that might be a good time to talk to your Salesforce administrator and see why that is. Um, but the use of this is pretty straightforward. So if I decide to search edge here and leave this filtered to all, you can see that I have a little drop down with uh, some different options here for objects. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it on all and type in edge to see what happens. And you can see that it searched the entire database of um, things that are searchable and it popped up an account, an opportunity, and a contact or, or multiple contacts. And you can see that the, the way that it pulled this up was it searched for edge in an account name. It found edge in the opportunity name as well as account name associated to the opportunity. And down below, you can see that edge is not only in the email, but it's also in the account associated to these contacts. Um, so let's say um, I wanted to get a little bit more specific and I only wanted to look for contacts that are at the edge account. So if I open this option down and filter to contacts, I'm going to do the same criteria. And you see that it's going to pull up the contacts related to edge. I now have a refined by area on my left side as well. So there could be instances or you might be at an organization that has 50, 100 different contacts at um, edge communications or, you know, whatever example of account you're looking for. And let's say you only have a first name. That's as much detail that you have. I could type in Sean here and you can see that the list now got filtered down to my one contact. So, uh, so far we looked at the all setting, which means it's going to search the entire database. You can filter down to other objects and then once you're at that filter you can even use the refine by uh, on the left side so another thing here is let's say uh, i'm searching for edge and i return my values from my first search there's going to be certain characteristics that are listed here on the page that may or may not be relevant to me so uh, if let's say you know account site is irrelevant or phone uh, or account owner alias, these can actually be customized and that's called uh, a search layout. So if you find yourself constantly searching for things and need to have access information uh, at a glance and this isn't set up the way you'd like, then you can speak to your admin and say, hey, we need to customize these search layouts. So when I search for certain things using global search, I'm able to see some different fields. Uh, and that's a high level overview of global search. And uh, there's obviously a few other things here that we could discuss, but from a day-to-day -day basis, uh, those are gonna be the most important things.